close ask, especially on that A final. But they are away. Music gets yep with the early lead. Looks like Lana Janssen in lane four. Then we have Lisa Kutsi and Trinity Burn currently in third place. As they begin their second lap. Janssen, Kutsia, Hearn. With a nice race on a hand so far during these early stages. Nothing much to separate them. Janssen with the slight lead ahead of Kutsia and Hearn. turning in a minute there so it's all about this third 50 like we said this morning let's see how this plays out and we also have jessica baker coming back strong in lane two an extremely taxing event baker makes her presence felt and the final turn and it is lisa gutier out in front just ahead of jansen and hern Away they go. And it's down to this last 50. Yeah, we are sitting in for a tight finish. Check out those blue caps from Western Cape. And Lisa Gutsia from Swane. Looks to be between the three of them. And the Western Cape is starting to look very, very good. Lani Janssen, though, slightly in front. Janssen is a big fight from Gutsia, but it is Lani Janssen grabbing the victory, finishing ahead of Lisa Gutsia. And Trinity Hearn wraps up the top three. And there's confirmation of those results. 205.30 for Lani Janssen. Second going to a Lisa Gutsia. And another Western Cape swimmer, Trinity Hearn, with the third position, 205.82. And to recap, some highlights from that swim good first race to kick things off yes very good first race and definitely looking forward to this a final hopefully we can get these ladies under the qualification time so a reminder of the qualification time one five seven two six and this is for the women's 200 free Uh, definitely Amy Kenny will be eyeing the target. She's uh, been uh, in excellent form over the last couple of days. Yes, yeah, she has been, but let's not overlook Dune Kutsi, who also has a personal best time of under two minutes. Dune Kutsi, another swimmer who has looked exceptional. That's going to be a great battle between Kenny and Kutsi in this race. Course, we're up against some exceptional talent. And yeah, they make their way out to poolside. Molly's Ross from Swane, as are the next two competitors, Hannah Maton, as well as Callum Lotta. And here is Amy Kenny. You can hear the cheers for her. Very popular swimmer. Dunei Kutsia. What a talent. It's another Swana athlete. And back to Karteng. Well, fun Skaldvek. And back to the gold caps. Stephanie Hartman. And the eighth swimmer from Karteng. 19 year old. Anna Robertson.
Big swim coming up at qualifying time once again. 1.5726 earlier today. Amy Kenny delivering a 1.5952. And as you heard Chanel say, Kutsia has dipped below the two minute mark before. Yes, Marilise Ross also off to a great start there in lane one. But it looks like Kenny taking the lead. Kenny with the early marker, 27.19, slightly ahead of Danae Kutsia. Kanan Lata in third spot at the moment. And Kenny already opening up quite a big lead. But uh, we've seen the strength and the fitness of Danae Kutsia in the longer races too. So she certainly has it within her close that gap considerably and listen to those cheers yes amy canny out in a 56 24 with a hundred to go she's definitely on track for that qualification time and you can hear the crowd chanel because they know that she's on target it could happen we saw two olympic targets set this morning come on let's kick tonight off with the bank kenny with the final turn 126.55. You can hear the crowd. They realize this is doable. 15726 is the magic number. Listen to the crowd go wild. Cheering on. Yes, so Amy needs to come back in about 30 seconds. With a bit of change. They're getting louder. Come on, Amy. Come on, Amy. 5726 is the number. She's almost there. Just missing out. 157.39. Oh my, Amy Kenny. That was absolutely superb. 157.26 was the number. 157.39. Wow. Jeez. Danae Kutsia coming second. Cannon Lata third. Oh. Bittersweet once again. Yes, definitely. Those last three strokes, she was fighting hard. So, Dune in second place, 159.63, and Callan Lotta in third, 202.10. Great wow. effort there by Amy Ganny. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, man. You have to feel for her. Of course, we witnessed this yesterday evening with Matthew Sates coming just short. He'll be in action a little later, a couple of races' time. In the men's 200 free. Wow, that was exhilarating. And you can hear the crowd got behind her. And as a swimmer, underwater a lot. I mean, does she know? Would she notice the cheers? 100%. Okay. 100%. Each time you breathe, it's like, <sighs> <laughs> and you just imagine they're cheering for you. <laughs> Whether they're cheering for someone else, it doesn't matter. But you believe it's for you. So, Amy, can he? with a great victory unfortunately just missing out let's head downstairs uh, standing by with crystal arnold oh we had some bated breath towards the end of that amy that's what you do to us so one five seven three nine and uh, we were looking at that qualifying time one five seven point two nine what was key for you in pacing that final congratulations on the win though thank you um yeah, I just try to go out fast. Hold on. Um, but yeah, it's okay. What do you think of that time and what it says of uh, the potential of getting that qualifying time? Yeah, it was a huge PB, so got to be happy with that. Um, yeah, I was happy with the song. I was so proud of you, Amy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Crystal Arnold, well, Amy Kenny, you can see how bitterly disappointed she is. So strange, getting a resounding victory, but uh, walking away from the pool, disappointed. And uh, those are the high targets and goals she had set herself. As we move over now to the men's 200 freestyle finals, this, the B final. Roberto Gomez making his way out to lane one starters block. Followed by Ty Lee Pearson. And while we've got a host of the Tuane swimmers, six in fact, 
Bernard Wolfart, Henri Lowe, Adrian van Veek. Also got Kieran Rolfi and Stefan Stein. So all eight, eight swimmers in action after that uh, breathless race. Yes, what a great performance there by Amy Kenny and also by Dune Goodseen. So men's 200 free about to get things off the B final. Here we go. If you were a betting man or woman, yeah, quite a good bet to say a swimmer from Swane is going to capture this one. Yes, Tylee Pearson off a great start in lane two. Six swimmers from lanes two to seven, all wearing gold. I can imagine one of them will be capturing the top spot in this race. Roberto Gomez from Karting and Stefan Stein from the Western Cape will be doing their utmost to stop them from the outside lanes. Yes, it's one of those things you never know. I mean, looking at this morning, the outside lanes were dominating. So let's see what they can do this evening. It was actually remarkable looking at those outside lanes because it's something you, you don't really expect. And I mean, every now and then you have the one-off, but um, it was a consistent thing that happened this morning. And it looks like Adrian van Dijk turning first in 54 50. 100 meters in. Van Dijk still out in front. Henry Lowe currently in second, 55-1-0. And look at all those gold caps. So, four. The final time turning. And it is Adrian van Beek still out in front. Just ahead of Lope. And then we have Stefan Steyn in that outside lane. Flying third at the moment. And as the front runners start to make their move. It's 25 minutes to go. You can see the boys bringing in their kick. Lope up against van Beek. Van Beek pushing hard. This can be very tight. Van Beek good. It looks as if it went the way of Henri Lope. 152.59. Adrian van Beek just behind him. Wow. Four yeah. hundredths of a second. Yes, great to see Henry coming through in those last 25 meters. Looks like that open water and distance training is definitely paying off there. Yep, so victory for Henri Lowe. 152.99. The only swimmer to dip below the 153 mark. They wait for the members of the A final to get to the starters blocks. This is going to be a big one. Reason being, looking at that qualifying time, 14626. Matthew Saves will be eyeing that one. Saves took it really, really easy this morning in the heats as a Peter could see up in the 200 backstroke. So we really couldn't get gauge anything from uh, the earlier swims. Watch the, the big men of the 200 free A final. Arno Korea on first, on the 20, as is Andrew Ross from Hazen in Ricky Lottery. In lane four, that's Matthew Sates in that bright green costume. In five, we have Guy Brooks. In lane six, Matthew Coldwell. Lane seven, Cameron Casali. Cameron Casali coming up next in seven. And in lane eight, Chris Milog. And in eight, Chris Milog, the youngster at only 16 years old. And here we have. The A final of the men's 200 free. Keep 
an eye on that man wearing gold relatively new to him having made the move up north and joining me now swimming royalty in chad Claude. chad excited for this one. Oh, uh, how's it guys yeah very excited here we go so 200 free final matthew says keep an eye on him had a, a 150 this morning but uh, that's relatively nothing of course the time that he is chasing 14626 doable Absolutely. I think uh, Matthew's been outstanding the last couple of years. Um, I'd like to see him take it out a little harder tonight. Just, I just want to see him push that first 100 pace. Uh, you know, Guy Brooks had a great 100 free last night. So, uh, yeah, I think he's going to help stay with him. So, Matthew Sates out in front. What do you make of that first 50? 25.04. Yeah, that was all right. I thought, uh, like expected, you know, dictating the pace. Uh, he's looking pretty good now. Uh, Guy's going to have to get a little closer, I think. Ricky's had a great swim this morning also, so yeah. Uh, we'd like to see Andrew Ross also push that pace to 50, so we'll see what happens now. Yeah, so Matthew Saints almost uh, a full body length clear as he reaches the midway mark. Sitting at 5219, that time once again, 154626 is that Olympic target. It's impossible to gauge much, but yeah, he starts to pull away. Yeah, I'd say uh, Matthew's going to have to hammer down this 50, uh, but yeah, we'll see what he comes in on now. Okay, Matthew Sates still out in front. In terms of the race, it really is a, a battle for second place, it looks like. They've got this absolutely wrapped up. Matthew Sates, 120 21 at the turn. You can hear the crowd getting behind him. That number again, 14626. Come on, Chad, call it. What's going to happen? Oh, he's a little bit behind where I thought he would be, but uh, we'll see how he goes coming down the stretch here. Um, you know, he's looking at it like he's tightening up a little bit. But uh, head down, Maddie. Let's go. Fighting hard is Matthew Sates. That unfortunately is not to be. And as we see over in lane eight, coming out of nowhere. But Matthew Sates, 148, wow. 82. That was sensational uh, from the outside there. Wow. How's oh, that from lane eight, eh? Wow. That oh, was, my goodness. That was incredible from uh, Chris Mielov, the 16 year old. Great job, Chris. Out of Ecolini. That was a. That was a great last 50, eh? Wow. Jeez, he's uh, he got up the oh pool immediately, goodness. having a look at his yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> 149. Hey, good job, six, young six. man. 6-6. <laughs> Looks a, relatively and, disappointed. And Ricky uh, Ricky was pretty good, actually. 149.6, probably yeah, the two youngsters really stepping up, eh? Really, really, really good. And Matthew Saints again. We saw uh, the disappointment from him last night, having missed out uh, on that Olympic time. Uh, this time yeah. around, not as close. So. Yeah, I, I think, look, anyway... If, for Matthew, I think obviously with him qualified for, I think he's really got this time already. So I think he's, you know, it's all good. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think obviously he wanted to go a little bit faster. But uh, yeah, he looked good the first 100. I think he tends to bit the last last 50. So, yeah. Just uh, just amazing. Look at that uh, performance from Chris Mielov. Absolutely yeah, out of nowhere. Wow. Over in lane eight. How old is he? 16, uh, 16 years old. Oh, my goodness. 16? Yeah. Oh, my. I couldn't do that with fins on at 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great swim, man. Uh, what really impressed me though is that uh, immediately got out the order, looked at his yeah. time, and looked relatively disappointed yeah, with yeah, finishing second. Strange, man. I have to send my dad on him, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting though, Matthew Sates having made the move over to Twane, and uh, like yourself, also two men that were coming down from KZN. Uh, before I get you and uh, we find out a little bit more, let's head downstairs and uh, find out a bit more from Matt Sates. Another national champion for you, Matt. Congratulations. I think it takes your personal career tally to over 50 gold medals. But this particular race, just take us through it. Um, I try to go out pretty hard and hold the pace. Um, I'm dying a little bit on the last 50, but it's good for where I am now, leading up to the Olympics. Great assessment for you as to where you are, but what does it mean to have another medal here at these national champs? Uh, yeah, it's always nice uh, winning the nationals. Uh, yeah, so shout out to our South African swimming. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Crystal Arnold. Congratulations once again to Matt Sates. Yeah, what I was uh, mentioning a little earlier, Matt Sates, of course, from KZN originally, yourself too. I did a lot of their swimming there, but uh, you're, of course, making the move over to Cape Town, not Germany. Uh, Sates having <laughs> made the move up north. Uh, good for his career. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not too sure. I think, you know, with Matthew, I've said it from, you know, the, the end of 2020, you know. 
uh, we did some trainings together when he was very young, and you know, I really saw the talent that he's that he's got. And uh, yeah, look, he's he's definitely shown at short course. You know, obviously world champ. Uh, Long course, you know, he, he's, he's been there. Um, but, yeah, this is a big year for him to push through. Uh, I have full faith in him. I really believe that. You know, I've said he's one of the special talents, you know. And, uh, yeah, hoping that he can just keep the course and, you know, figure out uh, what, you know, how to get better for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, well, speaking of the special talents uh, included on our next uh, competitors coming through now. We've got Minky Janssen van Rensburg, Caitlin Murray, Meliska Everson, Wanika Crickler. Wanika Crickler has been dominating matters in the pool over the last uh, couple of days. Swimmer from the Western Cape. And this is the multi-class event women's 100 butterfly S14, S15. Also got S1, S13. to get underway yeah it is the fifth race of the evening so Janssen van Rensburg representing Western Cape as is Wanika Krikla from Karting Kington Marais and from KZN Melissa Everson And in they go. Of course, uh, worth reiterating once again, because it's multi-class event, it's not necessarily a race amongst these competitors. They're racing yes. against the clock. Absolutely. Yeah, we were chatting last night at, uh, about that. I think it's uh, it's great to see. Uh, you know, we've had such a great uh, last couple of years with multi-disability events. So, yeah, really, really awesome to see. This is the women's 100 meter butterfly S14, S15, as well as S1, S13. Looking at those qualifying times, this will be eyeing it out very, very closely. 110.45. So, Janssen van Rensburg, the S14 competitor. So, very good swim so far. Over in lane four. Meliska Everson. It's amazing chat to someone like yourself as we watch Meliska Everson coming through now and we'll ratify those times shortly in terms of those qualifiers. But Meliska Everson doing exceptionally well. You mentioned uh, the likes of Chris Mielov getting out the water there, 16 years of age. And there we have a tremendous yeah, swim. Yeah. Meliska Everson. And yeah, 17 years of age. And Unbelievable. Uh, you're just walking around, you know, obviously everyone knows uh, our most decorated athlete. And I mean, do you feel it? Do you feel them feed off the energy and uh, just you being around inspire them to, to do a little bit better? No, it's amazing. I think Melissa had a great swim here. Um, yeah, 17 years of age. I mean, look, I remember being that young and being around here. I think it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, we have not just myself, but, you know, Tatiana, obviously world class. You know, even Peter and Matthew now coming through, uh, ste stepping up as, you know, big names in the world. And, uh, no, nah, it's, it's just great to see, um, yeah, and of course, Roland. I don't want to forget about Roland. Roland's a legend, man. He's, he's you know, um, nah, I mean, I remember racing him back in 2013, you know, in the green pool these days. So it's uh, it's actually inspirational to have him uh, to have him here, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, it's remarkable. Uh, it's, I mean, Roland, come on. I mean, just... It looks better with age each and every year, though, because in uh, how peak he does physical it, <laughs> condition. <laughs> hey, I'm 32 in a few days, and I feel uh, I feel a lot older than he does. Eh? He looks he looks amazing. My dad and I always joke with him about how, how good his body looks, you know. So, uh, nah, honestly, like I said earlier, you know, you have to respect what he's achieved and how he's still going. And just for him to be here is just such a, a huge thing, you know, for, for all of us. So, yeah, really, really uh, amazing. Yeah, so it's your birthday in a couple of days. We'll be going out to celebrate. Uh, and <laughs> we went out last night. Uh, great yeah. to see the sights and sounds of Quebec. Thank you to Natty's uh, for treating us. Good evening last night, yeah? It was a great evening. You know, we uh, yeah, could have stayed a lot longer, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You did, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Me on Friday. <laughs> As uh, we move over now to the next event and we stick around with those multi-class events as uh, we now move over to the men's side of things. It's the 100 Butterfly S14, S15, S1, S13. So 
the competitors coming through. JP now, James Willers, Josh Nienaber, Nathan Hendricks, and Matthew Moss. And uh, plenty of teenagers in the water, including 24-year-old JP Nell, an S14 competitor. Well, as S10, S8, S13, S9 uh, going through the lanes. Maybe uh, five competitors taken to the water. So the switch will be relatively quickly. Yeah, I know you, you mentioned the... The four-letter word, the, the green pool, a couple of years back. But, uh, <laughs> man, things have changed. And they really have come out uh, doing a brilliant job here in Quebec. I mean, this has been the host uh, of this event for the last couple of years. And they just keep on going from strength to strength. Absolutely. It's been a uh, yeah. way for the start, yeah. And they... Are away the men's 100 meter butterfly multi class event reiterating once again it's not necessarily a race between the competitors they are racing against the clock given the fact that uh, they compete in a host of different classes uh, within this race but uh, flying out of the blocks going very very strong over in lane four nathan hendricks and nathan hendricks been around for a little while now and uh, he continues to impress absolutely yeah, he's looking really good at the moment yeah Let's see what split is. I mean, yeah, 28. Oh my goodness, that's that's pretty quick. Yeah, we, like I said, we have such an abundance of, of talent um, in the categories. So yeah, you know, just but Nathan Hendricks continues to power on, and uh, he is the young man from Umpumalanga. It's uh, been few and far between in terms of the competitors from Umpumalanga, but uh, when they are here, they certainly make their presence felt. As uh, Nathan Hendricks, look at this time. Wow. A 100 fly. Wow. And that is exceptional. It's a minute, eh? Yeah, a minute yeah. eight. That's incredible, man. Yeah, 10084 for Nathan Hendricks. Sure. Jeez, what did you make of that? Man, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. I think that first 50 spoke for itself. But his technique looked amazing. Um, no, incredible. Really, really great. Yeah, congratulations uh, to Nathan Hendricks. Uh, doing a very, very good job. Uh, coming through in second over there, Matthew Moss. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I saw your message. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Mom. Having a watch over on Supersport. Great to have Supersport involved oh, once amazing. again. The SA National Swimming Champs. And, uh, of course, your, your dad wouldn't be watching because he is... Is he here tonight? Yeah, he's right there by the flag. So he's, oh, okay. Uh, no, we actually... Speaking earlier about PE, it's actually been a, it's been a great uh, host. You know, I think, um, yeah, it's actually got better over the years you know like we said we had a little bit of hiccup in 2013 but uh i must say a big shout out to everyone involved this year it's actually been running so smoothly uh i said that from the day one i mean i arrived here and it was spot on everything even the heats they were running on time even a bit early you know <laughs> i nearly missed my only <laughs> free morning but uh no amazing really great job to everyone involved eh? honestly really, yeah really impressive yeah and, uh, your dad also joining us last night thoroughly enjoyed himself and always a great company and uh, it's amazing to see, of course, you, you get Chad Leclo, uh, one of the most famous athletes uh, in the world and uh, arguably with the most famous dad. Uh, probably, the, probably more famous dad than athlete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As we uh, head now towards, ooh, this is awesome. I'm going to use some big, biggies. That's a big one, eh? 200 breaststrokes. First up, we've got the B final. And uh, coming through now, Niala Banza, the 14-year-old from Mpumalanga. And oh, hoping to, yeah, re looking to repeat the feat nice. uh, made by Nathan Hendricks a little earlier. Isabella McColgan, Michaela Gulst, Chanel Thaltzman, Georgia Els, big name there, Cassandra Sicciottis, Helen Taylor, and Tyra Penn will be lining up for this B final before we head towards that massive A final featuring the likes of Tatiana Smith and Kayleen Corbett. Smith, yeah, <laughs> we nearly, nearly messed that one up, eh? Oh, it, it, it is very strange. Um, it is. I mean, luckily, she's got a very unique first name. Exactly. But uh, if it was, say, uh, no disrespect to anyone named Jane out there, but if it was uh, Jane Smith, sure, sure, sure. Anyone would kind of like, oh, well, exactly. Just uh, another swimmer. But that Tatiana, it's hard to look past that. Nah, cool. she's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't see her swim this morning, but I mean, 219, that's that's crazy fast, man, especially for the morning swim. Um, both girls under the time, right? Uh, yes, both of them. Alien also, 223, really, really impressive. Yes, yeah, so it's yeah. uh, going to be a straight out battle for the victory. All, of course, they'd obviously yeah. uh, want to better those times too. But uh, before we head there, First up, this uh, tasty B final. Bunza, McColgan, Kulst, Thalsman, Els, Sikiotis, Taylor, 
and pen. Did, did you ever try your hand at breaststroke? <laughs> I was uh, actually, uh, I was actually, my goal was to win the Tony breaststroke at the Olympics. Yeah, back when I was, back when I was 12 years old, that was my goal after 2004. Wow. But uh, yeah, a little groin injury and actually a luckily groin injury. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been to me butterfly today. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be sitting with you today either <laughs> <laughs> if I continued breaststroke. As we get ready for the start. The women's B final begins. Manza, McColgan, Hulse, Carlsman, Els, Sikiotis, Taylor, and Penn. It, it is amazing, yeah, and, I, and I keep on chatting to Chanel regarding this, but how unique breaststroke is to the remainder of, uh, of the disciplines. Yeah. A and what makes it so unique? I think it's, the, it's become such a, a power stroke in the last like decade or so. I'd say like breaststroke is probably one of the most improved strokes. I mean, I remember back in my first World Champs 2009, we had the super suits, you know, I'm, I, can only, I can only really speak for men's side, you know, but like, you know, when Cameron went 58, um, no one was doing that. Mm. Now 58 has become like a normal kind of time, a top five time, you know what I mean? Like 58 was unheard of 10, you know, 12, 13 years ago, you know, now yeah. it's like kind of a staple in the final, you know, you probably see five, six guys potentially going 58 in the big final, which is unbelievable, you know, I mean, even, even 12 years ago, you know, when he won the gold medal, I mean, there was no one else close to Cameron. He won that pretty easily, right? Mm, 58-4. Yeah. And he did. Springer was 59-0. So, I mean, think about how crazy that is, you know? The breaststroke especially. So, and, yeah. and, and, of course, there was that controversy regarding the, the dolphin kicking uh, underwater. Um, yeah. Is that still prevalent? I think so. I mean, look, I don't really know. I don't obviously don't do any breaststroke anymore. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, I just, you know, it's a, it's a touchy subject. I don't want to comment too much about that. Get myself in trouble, yeah? But, uh, I mean, Cameron, yeah, he didn't, he didn't hold back after that interview, I can say. But, look, I think all the guys are doing it, if I must say. Um, but I, I can't speak for everyone, obviously. Well, they're having a look uh, at this action currently in the water. And this is uh, a very good performance so far as uh, we watch out coming through from lane five. And it is Chanel Falsman from KZN. Just 14, oh, no. Rather, Georgia Owls, in fact, uh, 18 years of age. Uh, it's going a young along. field, eh? Yeah, very, very young field because wow. uh, on our side, Janelle Fonsman, uh, 14 years of age. We've got Sikiati, who's 16. But Georgia Owls out in front, 1, 5, 3, 6, 2. And she is well clear of Fonsman. Uh, over four seconds clear, in fact. And she looks to power home. And this is a very good performance from the swimmer representing Twane. It's a. Uh, incredible the the amount of gold swimming caps we see out in the water yeah got a, a tremendous swimming fraternity that side as georgia owls will make her way to the finish in a commanding time and a great victory for her in this b final doing so in 234 so one good, good swim for b final for sure eh? yeah wow, very very good, good. felsman uh, grabbing second and McColgan third but uh, georgia owls wow 239 six four for the b Impressive. Really impressive. Oh, we got the main event, huh? Yep. Uh, confirmation uh, of those results. It was Els grabbing first spot, Falsman second, and McColgan third. We'll uh, wait for those times to be updated, but uh, we can confirm that Els' time is indeed correct. One, uh, two, thirty-four, eighteen for her and uh, the winner. And now we have the big one, <laughs> the women's 200 breaststroke final. And keep an eye on lanes four and five. Tatiana Smith, previously known as Schoonmarker, and Kayleen Corbett, two wonderful athletes and two ladies who, of course, captured those times earlier today. But uh, it's going to be a nice battle between these two. Absolutely. Both training together now the last few years. Uh, I think Kayleen's been there for four years now. She was actually previously from PE. Yes, she was. Hometown little return. But, uh, no, she, they're both... both both uh, ladies are absolutely uh, great ambassadors for the sport. And yeah, obviously known them for a long time. And yeah, they've had some tremendous results. I mean, let's not forget Kayleen also, she took fifth in the Olympic final, right? With yeah. uh, Tatiana. I mean, that's, that's no small feat, you know. And, and to have two, two ladies in the final, I mean, if we thought about it 15 years ago, we didn't really have, respectfully, such strong women. And yeah. now the women are almost <laughs> maybe even carrying the men. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's awesome to see. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see what happens, eh? Okay, as we welcome the swimmers onto poolside, where is Van Jaspelt first out? Van der Vese is in, up next in lane two. Kate Mayer also been looking strong over the last couple of days. 
and yet is the woman you'd see. She's so relaxed, man. She seriously does. Oh my goodness. Wish I was like that before the race. Maybe I'll have to try that tomorrow night. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we look good. forward to seeing that, actually. It's, uh, see if you, you change your style somewhat to, in terms of preparation. But there we have the two main guns flying here. Tatiana Smith alongside Kayleen Corbett. Catherine van Rensburg will be coming out in sixth position. And Gabriella van den Berg. And Simone Mole. And here we have the lineup for the big one. Women's 200 breaststroke final. Of course, the SA record, the world record held by the lady in lane four. Set over in Tokyo. Who will ever forget? And what will this evening deliver? And away they go. I'm going to go 219.52. Just uh, recapping that world record once again from Tatiana. 218.95. And she looked so comfortable and so strong this morning. It, funny enough, I don't know if you saw a reaction afterwards because, I mean, she obviously cruised into that time. Sure. But she actually looked a, a little disappointed. And she got to a fairly slow start, funny enough. I think she was actually last in the water off the dive. Yeah, she had a good start now. Um, yeah, I think Tatiana, she's she respectfully in the league on it. A league of her own you know she's i've been saying this since 2019 when she got the silver you know i mean she's she's just been phenomenal since then you know and i think if COVID never happened she still would have broken that world record in 2020 and dominated as she did in in, in, uh, in the olympics you know so 32 6 man that is unbelievable 32 wow. 6 to at the midway mark of this the first of well, now in the second of four laps tatiana smith making her way back chased hard by Kayleen Corbett. How important is it for someone like Tatiana and how important was it some, for someone like you where you had someone within your ranks as we see Tatiana at 107.33 wow. halfway. 107 is crazy. Oh my goodness. And yeah. even, I mean, even Kayleen 109 is not slow either. That's that's really, really quick. Oh, this, this, could be, this could be proper on, eh? This, uh, so remember, <laughs> both ladies having captured those Olympic qualifying times, 218.95 was uh, Tatiana's world record time set over in Tokyo. Wow. Could that be under threat? I think this is looking like it's going to be close to 218. I mean, that's that's just crazy to do here in April. I mean, like I said, you know, I was chatting with Rocco before the games, I said, look, as long as she stays calm, I don't think anyone can beat her, you know? I think Lily gave her a little bit of a challenge, but she's just in the class of her own at the moment. Well, listen to this crowd willing her on true. because wow. uh, we could be witnessing history being made yet. Wow. Still not at the two-minute mark. 218.95 is that world record time that you set over at the Olympics. And what is going to happen this time around? Sitting at 207. They are screaming for her to get there. Ten seconds in which to get it. Tatiana Smith fighting hard. What's the time? Oh 219.01. Wow. Just outside that world record she set in oh Japan. Man, oh man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tatiana, take a bow. That was unbelievable. Kayleen Corbett grabbing wow. second position, 223.71. And third spot. Amazing. Going the way. I think it was Catherine van Rensburg, if I'm not mistaken, will wait confirmation. But where? Wow. Jeez, how oh. close was that? Six hundredths of a second away from the mark that she set over in Tokyo. Wow. 219.01. That's that's going to be there and thereabouts for winning, you know. I think there's going to be three ladies that can maybe go that time. So I think she's right in the mix to defend her title. Yeah, well, it's certainly going to make mean, the world sit up and take notice. Confirmation there. 219.01. Kayleen Corbett uh, wow. coming through with that 223.71. And uh, next best look like Kate Mayer, in fact, grabbing third spot. What a way uh, to get this this night of flow, it's great to see the crowd get behind you. Now, I was chatting oh, to amazing. Chanel a little earlier. I mean, something like an event like with you uh, swimming in that uh, 2012 race against Faults where you captured gold. Do you, do you notice the crowd screaming in the background? I think that race particularly, yeah, because obviously Michael had such a unbelievable uh, support. Um, yeah, awesome guys. <laughs> um, 
yeah, it was just crazy. I remember we were walking in and, and hearing the crowd, like through my earphones, I couldn't hear anything, you know what I mean? It was so loud. And coming down the stretch, it was, it was probably the loudest outside of Budapest 2017, where like, literally I could, even underwater, you can hear the crowd cheering. Is it? Eh? London was crazy. Yes. And oh. then when I touched, it was a pin drop because <laughs> they didn't <laughs> expect me to win. <laughs> so, oh, Hall is uh, one of uh, the most iconic sporting moments. Uh, Chad Leclerc grabbing gold over in London and uh, in doing so, defeating uh, the most decorated athlete uh, in history. As we head down to one of our most famous athletes, Sue Santiana Smith, following that exceptional swim. We thought 219.92 wasn't too bad for a morning heat. What do you think of 219.01? <laughs> I think everyone can say the same. <laughs> if my nails are just a bit longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think even just walking here, yeah, I just realized like, I'm so close to my actual world record, so I can't be that upset, and I really am not upset. I think it's just when you see a 1901, you just think it's so close to that 218, but um, for me to be back on the times that I used to be is just, yeah, ma, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. What pleases you most that this is like the fastest that you've spun in three years, yeah. or the fact that we're saying, hello, Paris 2024? Yeah, exactly, and I think it was tough because I never thought I would actually get back to the times, and it, I know it's never about the times, and I, I've always said the happy swimmer is a fast swimmer, and I'm much happier, and I think my results are showing it, but yeah. <laughs> and how did you manage your race in that 200 breast? What are you taking from this final that you will take with you to the Olympics? I just think the confidence in the times in training. I think the past few years, I've seen really good times in training, but it just didn't match up with my racing. And I think that was also quite tough. So yeah, just enjoying everything. And I think going in every race, um, just trying to enjoy the race and trying to do the best technique that I could and executing the race as best as I could. If the results showed it, it, it really didn't matter as long as I, if I leave the pool to be happy about what I did. I don't know if you felt the energy of the crowd, but I can safely say everybody was rooting for you. No, I was telling Kayleen, it's so, it is a bit frustrating that these things are so high because you hear the crowd and you're like, okay, now what is it? So maybe they should announce the times because we have to swim an extra seven meters to see what was actually, what the crowd was going on about. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Tatiana, and all the best for the rest of Nationals, but that was exceptional. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Crystal. Tatiana Smith, 219.01, and who'll ever forget uh, that world record time she set uh, back in Japan, almost beating that time of her own. But, uh, of course, since then, though, uh, it was edged by Evgenina uh, Chikanova from Russia, doing so in 2.17. As uh, we head back downstairs to Crystal, who's got Kayleen Corbett with her. Yeah, because she's going to sit next to Tatiana on the plane. Kayleen, you're going to be there. Congratulations in Olympic qualifying time. What a day it's been. I know. Oh, my gosh. Um, thinking back to 2021 when we had to qualify, I couldn't do it. So to be able to do it in the morning was really ha Like, I'm really happy about that. It's the fastest that I've been since Tokyo, so that's a good thing. And, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to swim in, like, my hometown, to be in PE, um, yeah, like I love this place and I love this pool, so yeah. <laughs> I know that you're always positive, but just give us a sense, where is Kayleen right now, headspace-wise and physically? Well, I'm excited, that's all we can be, is to be excited. I mean, I'm going to Paris, I booked the ticket, <laughs> and that's all we really need to, needed to do this week, yeah. What can you say about your training group? Because it, it's such a strong training group. There's such a camaraderie and an energy that you bring to nationals together. And about your coach, Rocco. Yes, um, that's all owed to our coaching staff there in the corner, Rocco and Keenan and everyone else who, Rocco, who supports, Ke I mean, Rocco. And yeah, it's just like something that they, you know, it's like bred within us to support one another. And we just want the best for each other. And I think that shows when we touch the wall. We'll see you in Paris, Kayleen, but we'll see you for the rest of the Nationals too. Thanks for chatting. Thank you very much, Crystal Arnold, and uh, great to hear from Kayleen Corbett. And uh, such an enjoyable swimmer, such a great swimmer. Of course, uh, Kayleen and Tatiana having booked their spots over to Paris. But uh, Kayleen Corbett 
really one of the, the popular swimmers in uh, oh, South she's, Africa. She's fantastic. You know, we've known Kayleen for a long time. You know, it's funny about Kayleen. I don't know if she'll like it if I say this on air, but every time we're on tour, she takes my phone and she takes about a thousand selfies. <laughs> and I see them on my thing. And sometimes she puts them in my background and I come on my phone I'm like, yep, Kayleen's got my phone. Perfect. <laughs> I, have about, I have about 300 pictures of Kayleen on my phone of just selfies of her and the girls. And I'm just like, yep. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah, and uh, awesome. she certainly looks uh, the type who would do exactly something like exactly. that. Very mischievous, always wearing a smile, uh, but always delivering in the pool nonetheless. As we move over to the men's side of things now in that 200 breaststroke. Uh, Malcolm Boerter, Zane Niemand, Franco Clayton, Adrian Mostert, Sean Thomas, Oliver Langer, Nathan Phillips, and Jonathan Heslop. Uh, also, ages varying. I mean, you look at hey. Malcolm Boerter, who's uh, the oldest in the pool down in lane one. 21. 21. <laughs> I wish I was 21. And uh, the oh. man next to him, just 16 years of age, uh, Zane Niemand, uh, will be competing next to him at uh, 200 men's breaststroke. Uh, having a look uh, at those qualifying times uh, regarding... Uh, those Olympic times, 200 base stroke, of course, uh, 206, 209, 209 6, 8. 6, yeah. It's a tough time, man. It's uh, extremely tough. And, uh, look at the man that uh, goes into this with the quickest time, 221, 8, 9. And it's Adrian Mostert, and uh, a good start for him. As we begin the first of four laps, and uh, yeah, it's going to take some doing to get the crowd uh, as worked up as they did with witnessing yeah. their previous race. Yeah, look, I think firstly hats off both ladies, Tatiana Smith and Kaylin Corbett. Uh, yeah, the boys have got their work cut out for them. Uh, that time is no joke. Uh, speaking of previous times, I mean, yeah, turn nine, you know, turn nine ten years ago is winning world championships. Now it's barely making the Olympics, you know, which is which is crazy to think, you know. So, yeah, I think they've all moved on the times, so. eh? Yeah, Even well, the butterfly, the butterfly is crazy tough. I mean, 51, 155, I mean... <laughs> you know, how, how have you enjoyed uh, the action so far from a personal point of view over the last couple of days? Nah, it's been great. You know, I need to land it on, on Monday uh, afternoon, so I came straight to the pool, and uh, no, it's been amazing. I'm, look, I'm a fan of the sport regardless of uh, if I'm swimming or not. So I would, you know, I'm off for the next two days, so I'll be, be watching both nights. And uh, yeah, obviously, um, for me, last night I was pretty, pretty stoked with the time, so to speak. You know, I wasn't expecting too much of that 100 free, but obviously not. Not too happy to, look, to have lost the race. Uh, shout out to Peter for getting the touch. Well done for him. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and Gar Brooks, he had a phenomenal swim, I must say. He probably was the, probably the best performer of, of us, you know, swimming a big PB. So, yeah, but um, yeah, it will be a tough race between me and Maddie on Friday night on my birthday. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a big race. Uh, so that's uh, the next time we'll be seeing you in the pool. And uh, just speaking on Peter Goodsea, of course, uh, he'll be in action a little later this evening. That yeah. 200 backstroke, it's a big one. He took it exceptionally easy today. There's no yes. way he gave us any gauge whatsoever about uh, how things are going to go. He just simply wanted to book his place in the final in lane four. Uh, do you reckon uh, he can get through, uh, book uh, that ticket? Uh, <laughs> no, I think, look, Peter's already, obviously, he's the bronze medalist in this event. So, you know, he's, he's the third best swimmer in the world. So, I mean... Yeah, I'm expecting, I think it'd be pretty close to 156. I think 157 would be an amazing swim now. Again, I'm not sure exactly where everyone is in their training because obviously we have qualified, you know, so this hasn't been a crazy pressure nationals like it usually is. It's probably the most renowned nationals we've had. I mean, I personally had. Um, but yeah, I think still a lot of pride on the line, you know. He still wants to have a good swim and put a good time out there, you know, to the rest of the boys. Well, uh, a very good time put out there by Zane Nimant. Grabbing. 16 year old, eh? yeah. the youngest guy on the field. Uh, victory 221 01, just 16 years of age. Good job. And uh, capturing second place, Franco Clayton with Sean Thomas grabbing third spot. So that is the men's 200 breaststroke B final as we make our way now to the A final. This is the big one. Once again, uh, looking at that uh, qualifying time 209 68. And uh, yeah, that will be. Extremely tough to reach. Matthew Randall will go into this one with uh, the quickest entry time, 2.14.89. It's amazing to you that uh, the fact that you focus on breaststroke during your early stages of career. And yeah, thankfully, uh, <laughs> that groin injury put paid to that. Exactly. Nah, look, obviously I played a lot of soccer when I was younger, but uh, yeah, it was the back end of 2008, just during the Olympic Games, actually, when I was watching that TV. And uh, yeah, I still managed to go to the Commonwealth Youth Games, pick up the gold medal that year. Um, actually, I think it was 221.0. Actually, I, th I think it was the same. Actually, you know what? I think we shared the same time, yeah. You and Zane. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> jokes aside, incredible. I have to go check that out. But uh, no, that's awesome. And um, 
That's fantastic to note as well, Dan. Yeah. It, it, it's incredible how you, you, you do know those signs. I mean, I, I know I'm chatting to Chanel a little earlier, and I mean, one lap in of a six, eight lapper, and you immediately know what they could be set on for. And I mean, you just have those ingrained in your head. You know exactly, of course, it's been numbers all your life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I, it's weird. I had a chat to someone earlier, and I'm not, I'm not a really technical guy. I've never been, but I do remember everyone's times. I do remember all my times from back in the day and where I was and how I was feeling. You know, I remember moments more than anything, you know. So I look at, look at my swimming as years, you know. So like 2007, I remember swimming in East London, big battle with Heinrich Albert, Heinrich Fly. You know, we were both pushing close to 55s back then. And I was, you know what I mean, it was massive. Mm. You know, pride on the line, raining down. So like I remember all those big battles. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've never been a guy that focuses when I'm swimming about time at all. So yeah, just more focusing on the process and, you know, just being kind of in the moment and sticking to that technique. I think that's been my biggest trouble the last couple of years, you know? Well, uh, as we look forward now to the men's 200 breaststroke final, it is that A final, the big one, coming up. It's a big good race, I think. Yeah, it's going to be exceptionally good. Really uh, good Peter Itzel, Michael Deans, Kian Keelock, Matthew Randall, Petrus Tritter, Tom Tritter, Vincent Ribeiro, and Dylan Boerter. And they are away. Keep an eye on Kian Keelock, uh, a great up-and-comer. He's been uh, in this event for a couple of years now. He has, yeah. We were together in 2000, uh, 2022, the December short course. He was there. Um, sure, he must have just spent 16 huh, at the time. So, yeah, ma amazing. Amazing to see the youngsters coming through. Um, yeah, I think Matthew is probably the favorite for this one. Uh, he should take the title down, but yeah. Yeah, Kian Matt. looking really, really good here also. Matt and uh, going just, into this. 2.14.89 with that entry time and uh, make the turn 30.28. 50 meters done and dusted. Uh, the only swim to get into the 30s. Below 31. And you uh, find yourself based over in Germany. Uh, how are you enjoying Frankfurt? Oh, Frankfurt's, uh, yeah, look, it's not South Africa. <laughs> We chatted last night about it. Um, oh, look, it's, it's good for me for where I, where I need to be. I think it's the right place for me to be in a setup like that. Um, yeah, it, it is a bit tough, man. Frankfurt's, yo, they're very strict in Germany. The rules are very tight. Yeah, look, not, not my favorite place in the world to be because it's just difficult. But happy with my team, happy with my coach. And yeah, I like, really li like my environment that I'm in, you know, so to speak. So yeah. Yeah, I'm a uh, big fan of Germany. Love Berlin. Haven't been to Frankfurt, but uh, I'll make a yeah, plan to do it a little bit. Berlin's later. a fun time. Yeah, I'll show you around in Frankfurt, but uh, yeah, better better meet me in Cape Town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I'll do Quebec. You can do Cape Town. There we go. Uh, as we watch uh, the tail end of this race line, is the men's 200 race stroke final. As uh, they make their way to turn for the final time. And it is Randall still out in front, 139.09, just ahead of Kian Keelock. Keelock uh, having made uh, some impressive moves uh, over in lane three. So once again, a reminder of that time. And he'll be looking to book his place in 209.68. You can hear the crowd willing him on. I think it's uh, left himself far too much work to do, but he is looking very, very strong. And you called it Matthew Randall, definitely the favorite for this race. And he is proving that exactly more than a body length clear of the field as he makes his way to the finish, catching gold. 214 2.14.01 for Matt Randall. Petrus Trutter fighting back well to capture second place. And third going the way of Tom Trutter. In fact, it was Vincent Ribeiro grabbing third. But uh, the man out in front, Matthew Randall, another swimmer representing Swane. Surprise, surprise. Uh, confirmation there once again. 214.01. Good effort from him. A uh, good swim, good swim, boys. Yeah, very, very good swim. As uh, we head over now to a couple of more multi class events before we get to the backstroke, which is going to be extremely exciting. And then, it's always fun watching the relays wrap up the evening. And we mentioned him earlier, but Roland Skuman will be back in the water a little later. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I just looked at that in the program now. I think uh, 
He was going to set himself up for the 50 in a couple of days. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what he goes. I think he got a strong team there with Guy and Kobe and, and Ricky, all kind of informed swimmers at the moment. All 50 points and obviously 49 for uh, Guy Brooks. I think KZN, yo, they could be the favourites, eh? Could be the favourites, eh? Yeah, it's uh, been some impressive performances uh, from the likes of Western Cape and Twine KZN will be looking to fly the flag high and proud uh, a little later in those relays, which are always exceptionally fun to watch. Uh, but uh, before we do, we'll have uh, a couple more races. Of course, it is uh, the multi-class events, and uh, shortly we'll be hearing from the man who just dominated matters in the 200 breaststroke, Matthew Randall, who's making his way poolside, and uh, he'll be catching up with Crystal Arnold. So let's head downstairs to find out more from the newest gold medal winner. That's another national championship title under your belt. Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, I uh, went in hoping to go for a good time. I'm happy with the time. And uh, yeah, it was a fun race. Glad to get it again. At last year's Nationals, 2.14.40. First time around, 2.14.01. Just tell us about just how you keep on improving year on year. Yeah, uh, progress is progress, even if it's small. So I'll take it any time. I uh, was hoping for a bit more, but I'll take the win. And congratulations on that. Thank you so much. So thank you very much, Matthew Randall. A great effort in the 200 meter breaststroke. And uh, in doing so, capturing gold. And that uh, wraps up breaststroke. So uh, looking at those highlights and look at the way. He absolutely dominated matters as we say goodbye to Chad Leclerc. Catch up with him a little later. Great to have him in the house, albeit just as a spectator of the next couple of days. As Stella Clanguane is present next to Dr. Sam Ramsamy, who of course we heard from a little earlier. And before we get to those next couple of races, we'll be witnessing the medal ceremony as we say goodbye to Chad and welcome back Chanel van Beek. Chanel, geez, what a, what a blistering couple of minutes, those Yes, swims. yes. Um, just so great to see Tatiana and Kayleen dipping under those marks from this morning, getting another qualification time booking their tickets to Paris 2024. Yeah, I, I was saying to Chad and uh, we got rudely interrupted by the swimmers because they had to race, but I was asking, uh, how important is it for someone like Tatiana to have someone like Kayleen in the pool um, to be able to challenge her? Uh, of course, Tatiana, a great swimmer, we know that. Um, but is it important to have your marker someone that you want to challenge yourself against consistently as opposed to just dominating every race that you compete in and uh, not seeing anyone next to you in any lanes? No, I think 100%. And it also helps both of them with training. I mean, they're pushing each other every single day to reach their limits, to do their best. And as you can see, it's definitely paying off, just getting better and better with every single race that they're doing. So very proud of both ladies. Keep up the good work. As we move over now to the medal ceremony of that women's 200 meter freestyle final, Amy Kenny coming so, so close. So, grabbing third spot over in that event. But Danae Kutsia, Lisa Kutsia, oh, Danae Kutsia grabbing silver in the women's 200 meter freestyle. And in first position, just missing out in that time. Bittersweet moment for her, but she must be exceptionally proud because she grabbed gold and she grabbed gold in emphatic fashion. Yes, what a great swim there by Amy Canny, just missing it by split. I'm sure she'll have another opportunity later on in the week to, I'm sure, to lead off Western Cape's team in the 4 by turn freestyle relay, if not doing a time trial. Um, I'm sure she definitely has it in her. 
congratulations to Amy Kenny. As we make our way up to the men's 200 freestyle medal ceremony. Lottering first up from KZN, grabbing bronze. And second position, Silva, and competing out of lane eight, a tremendous fight back at the death. Yes, what a great sum from the 16 year old out in lane 8. Goes to show you, age is just a number. Yeah, it was actually amazing because myself and Chad uh, were busy watching those middle lanes and you were actually standing next to us and you just started pointing, look at 8, look at 8, look at 8. And then uh, Chris came through to grab silver. But uh, it was a foregone conclusion up front uh, pretty early in that race. Matt Sates grabbing yet another gold, this one in the men's 200 freestyle final. Another great swim there by Matthew Sates. And another gold medal in the bag. Yet another one. Surprise, surprise. A man who just keeps on bagging medal after medal after medal after medal. And uh, yeah, he was, was disappointed last night to miss out. Uh, this time around, not so much. He was uh, far more composed. Wow. As we move over now. The swimmers in waiting. See the medalists collect their silverware. Yes, so we're starting with the, the men's 50 meter freestyle S14 to S15 in lane three. I'm Kele Kamarama in lane four. Eli Lawrence and five. JP now. I'm sure Amkile will be hoping to dip under that 29 second mark, getting a time of 29.02 this morning. And the gents standing by, ready to get this 50 freestyle underway. And they off, into the water they go. Looks like I'm Kele that fast start out there in lane three. So they're going to absolutely fly. I'm going to come on up doing what he does best over in lane three. Yes, Win and a great battle in the middle between Eli and JP. I'm going 20 years of age from Kharteng. And he'll touch down in a time of 28.55. Going to be very happy with that time, dipping under the 29 second mark. Then we have Eli coming in with a time of 33.3 and JP 31.92. So we'll wait uh, confirmation of those uh, times in terms of the qualifications, of those seedings.
just uh, having a look back. Gee, what a start. Over in lane three from Kamarana. Yes, choosing to swim with a straight arm over there. Kamarane going through 2855. Now with the 3192 and the 3335 for Eli Lawrence. And we're moving on to the men's 50 freestyle S1 to S13. In lane one, James Villers. Lane two, Charles Parkin. Three, Matthew Moss. In four, we have Christian Sardi. Lane five, five, Nathan Hendricks. Lane six, Josh Niebacher. Lane seven, Tokozani In seven, Tokozani Ginakinda. And in eight, Mpo Mungane. So in this S7 cat category, they'll be looking for a time of 29.48, S9, 26.29, and S10, 25.49. And they're off. So swimmers in lane two and lane four will be looking for that qualification time of 29.48. Matthew Moss will be looking for a time of 26.29. But it looks like Nathan Hendricks out in the lead. Posting a time of 25.86 this morning. And looks like 25.8 this evening. In third, Matthew Moss going 29-33. And we will have confirmation of those times. Christian Sardi, 29-89 for him. Just missing out on that qualification time of 29-48. Nathan Hendricks looking very strong. Confirmation from him. Uh, Nathan Hendricks, another exceptional swan. Really has set the pool alight. Every time he touches the water, as a young man. What a finish, putting his head down for those last five meters. As we move over to the next event, sticking with 53, multi-class with the women's side. Yes, so we're starting with S14 to S15, where we have Kate Elwood and Minka Jansefen Rensburg. So Minka Janssen and Rensburg certainly needs no introduction. She has been exceptional over the last couple of years. South African Sportswoman of the Year with a disability. World record in the 50 free, 100 free. That's in long course. Also world records in the short course stuff. 50 free, 25 free, and 100 free. Wow. Jeez, what a what a CV. Yes, what a CV to have at such a young age. So 
Minko also having captured three golds over in Turkey. It was uh, at the end of the March at the Palm Center World Champs. And those three gold, including that world record in the 53. Also captured two silvers. Yes, I'm sure she's going to be looking for another world record tonight in the 50 meters freestyle. And the ladies are off. Looks like Kate Elwood off to a great start there. But Minka Van Jaswald not letting her go. Yeah. Minka, Jansa van Rensburg looking very, very good. As you'd expect, given that plethora of achievements uh, she has managed to garner over the course of her career. What an athlete, what a swimmer. And Kate Elwood powering on in lane three. Five meters to go. Nancy van Rensburg just uh, powering towards the end. She, she certainly picks up the pace, doing so in 34.06. That's uh, far better than her entry time. Yes, and also Kate Elwood, 34.2. sure both ladies are going to be very happy with that swamp. There are results for event 311, the ladies 50 meters freestyle up on your screen. Kate Elwood off to a flying start. But Minka not letting her go. Heading into 50 meters freestyle S1 to S13 in lane one, Nikita Douglas. In two, Ivana Vinka. In four, Danica Vinica. In five, In five, Caitlin Marais. In six, Melissa Everson. In six, Melissa Everson. And lane seven, Joanica Krichler. And seven, Yonica Krichler. Seems like we had a late scratching there by Tat Swanapool, who was supposed to be swimming in lane three. So in the S13 category, the ladies will be looking for a qualification time of 28.57 in the S4, 44.50 and S10, 28.88 and they off great start in lane 4 by Danica Rare, Everson, and Kukla all in a straight line at the moment. But it's Danica Venka. She went a 30.39 this morning. Will she dip under that time? Yes, she will. 29.65. Ivana Venka in second, 32.30. Looks like Yonica Kukla in third place, 32-39. Oh, 
congratulations ladies another great swim from Danica Benka yes, under and the 30 second mark and watching that replay all the ladies doing a great job in this final for the ladies 50 freestyle Putting her head down last five meters. Great job there. So just uh, two more events to look forward to. We've got 200 backstroke, followed by the freestyle, uh, not the freestyles, the relays. It's a 200 backstroke. BNA finals coming up. First up will, of course, be the woman taking to the water. Yes, and looking at this beautiful indoor heated facility, I'd definitely rather be inside than outside today. Yeah, it's, it's been crazy how much it's rained. I mean, I know I, I grew up in these parts, and uh, yeah, we had the odd wet day, but uh, the last two days, it's just rained nonstop. Yes, definitely. I'm not too sure what's happening, but everybody's saying I should be used to it because I'm from Cape Town, but. To me, this is on a whole different level. It's the rain, it's the wind, it's the cold, it's... Whew. That will still be uh, going out for dinner tonight. A little later, they can't curb us, stop us from doing that. Here in Quebecer, wonderful restaurants abound uh, here in the Bay. And uh, we also got to plan a, a night out for Friday evening uh, for Chad's birthday. Yes, so the officials getting ready for the ladies 200 meters backstroke. Great, great crowd we have here tonight. It's exceptional. Very, very impressed. PE Sydney has uh, come to the party. I had a friend of mine, Michael Arthur, joining us uh, yesterday evening. He came and witnessed swimming for the first time. Witnessing live swimming. Of course, everyone follows a lot of swimming. And uh, he said he couldn't comprehend the speed of the swimmers in the pool because he said that television just simply doesn't do it justice. You don't appreciate how fast they are. Yes, I definitely agree. So if you in the region, please come through and support our swimmers trying to get that Olympic qualification time and book their ticket to Paris 2024. Well, speaking of uh, Olympic qualification times, the uh, standard yet to book your ticket to Paris in the 200 backstroke for the woman, 210.39. Competitors taking the water in this event. Giselle Moritz, Emily Klein, Barna Patel, Bailey Lambert, Cassidy Burgess, Megan Matthews, Hannah Pereira, and Tanner Lindsay. Yes, again, recapping that SA record, 210.03 by Melissa Korf, set in 2008. You see, we were speaking about it earlier today and uh, how long that record has stood. Yes, Melissa, one of SA's great backstrokers. A long line of backstrokers. Training under coach Graham Hill. Also Charlene Woodstock. Now Princess of Monaco. It is the women's B final of the 200 backstroke. Moritz, Klein, Patel, Lambert, Burgess, Matthews, Ferreira. And Lindsay Patel, one of our India competitors. Yes, Patel off to a great start there in lane three. Wow, look at her go. Yeah, they, they really have impressed having made the journey here to South Africa. Yes, they're definitely making every opportunity count. Looks like Kenneth Lindsay in lane eight. Tight, heatly contested battle between her and Cassidy Burgers. Tanner Lindsay, a possible smoker on the side. And uh, that was one of the hallmarks we were saying earlier of uh, today's heat. The amount of outside lane winners we saw. Some round. 
It is lane five just in front. Cassidy Burgess, 109.29. It's a Tanner Lindsay over in lane eight. They're certainly not letting her get away just yet. Yes, lady is looking very strong, starting to speed up the stroke rate on this third 15. last five meters at the 150 mark and it's still Cassidy 145 22 looking very strong with 50 meters to go no Western Cape swimmer out in front final lap building a convincing lead with 25 more meters to go and yeah, she's pulling away nicely there's a swimmer in blue Looks like the fighters for second and third place. Looks like Megan Matthews and Bailey Lump Lumprat. Yeah, there'll be absolutely no catching. Cassidy Burdus. Lane five. 22276. Great swim from Cassidy. Bailey Lambert in lane four. Grabbing second. And a swimmer from India. Mana Patel in third position. Burgess, just 15 years of age with that victory. And you summoned to get below 223. for the big one the final of the women's 200 backstroke Hannah Pierce delivering an exceptional performance during the heats yes of a 2.12.44 I'm looking for a 2.10.39 this evening just joined us it is day three of the international swimming champs that we work towards the business end of the finals here this evening and, uh, two more events taking place it's 200 backstroke as well as those relays but now we move our way to the women's a final having witnessed Cassidy Burgess do very very well Emma DeVette, Lisa Marie Davidson, Grace Morris, Hannah Pierce, Mariella Fenter, Mia Dracopoulos, Indiana De Villiers, and Jessica Comedy will all be in action. Just uh, looking at those quickest times, Hannah Pierce having swam at 2.12.44, and that's uh, quite a bit outside that target for Paris, but uh, 2.10.39 is the number. Jessica Comedy, who can forget that performance last night in the mixed relays? Holding off the male swimmers to capture victory for KZN. Yes, and we'll also be seeing her a little bit later in the ladies 4x50 freestyle relay. Oh, those relays, so much fun. Of course, uh, we'll get a chance to see Roland Skuman in action. But first up, the women's 200 backstroke a final and they off in this a final for the ladies 200 meters backstroke to Beth Davidson, Morris, here, Spencer, Tripoclas, Sevillas and Harmony 
looks like Mila off to a great start there, looking very comfortable. Right where she left off this morning. Yeah, she the way she swam, I mean, it doesn't look likely that she's going to be stopped. But, you know, we've got the likes of Dracopolis there and Fenta. Yes, Hannah Pierce turning first and a 31.70, only to make up under 31 seconds there. Emma DeVette currently in second, 32.4. And Mariela, Mariela Fenta in third, 32.54. It looks like Hannah Pierce really putting away in this second lap of the 200 meters backstroke. Very good going from Pierce, piercing the water. 100 meters in, 104.62. Yes, so she'll need to come back in a 105 if she's looking to qualify for Paris 2024. So theoretically doing almost exactly what she did in that first 100, but of course that's uh, after 100 meters of swimming. Very, very tough effort. It's a tight battle for second and third place between Mariella in five and Mila in six. But it's all Hannah Pierce turning in a time of 138.37. Mila currently in second, 141, but nothing in it between her and Mariella turning in a time of 141.9. Please, me keep our eyes on Hannah Pierce, but uh, have a look over in lane six. Yes. Just with that being said, Mila Dracopoulos coming back extremely strong on this last 50 meters. Just having a quick look to see where Hannah Pierce is. And Hannah Pierce gets through in a time of 2.12.19. Very, very well done, Hannah Pierce. And that's uh, bettering her time set earlier. And uh, still just on sign that Paris target of 2.10.39. That, that was a great finish because, I mean, the split at the halfway looked like it was impossible for her to, to repeat the feat, given the fact that she had just swam 100 meters. But, uh, yeah, she managed to keep the pace up very, very nicely. And in the end, 2.12.19, finishing ahead of Dracopoulos, who had a great finish. Yes, I would actually love to see Mila's last 50-meter split there. She came back like a rocket. And Mariella Fenta grabbing the third spot of that 2.17. 3 7, but it was Hannah Pierce, the victor in the women's 200 meter backstroke A final. Great race. Women will make their way out of the pool. As we now await the men. To make their way poolside. Uh, great performance here from Hannah Pierce. Victory for her. Excellent to see the amount of spectators in attendance. So Hannah Pierce. Collecting the victory in the women's 200 meter backstroke final, finishing ahead of Milan Dracopoulos. So let's head downstairs here from our latest winner. A massive congratulations to Hannah Pierce. Well done, Hannah. Congratulations. Take us through your race. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I tried to take it out a bit faster than this morning. I'm not sure what the splits were, but it felt really good. I would be lying if I said I was 100% happy with the time, but I've got trust and faith that when the time will come, we'll be right, but for now, I'm really happy. And did you start your day with those yogurt-coated raisins? I know that's a pre-race ritual. Yes, I had my three yogurt-coated raisins this morning and this afternoon, yeah. Don't stop doing that. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Hannah Pierce. Thank you, Crystal. And amazingly, I mean, we've seen a lot of the athletes uh, emerge from the water and they're completely obliterated in terms of uh, being tired, which you would expect. And uh, she was able to get out a few more words there. Yes, great from there by Hannah Pierce with her coated raisins, the ritual for her. I think every summer kind of has their own little ritual. For me, it was my tub of 
Woolworths sour sweets that I had to take with on every single trip. And it literally sat in the box for the whole tour until I was done swimming. And then that was my treat at the end of it. Jeez, is that why you got the boxes delivered to our house today? And that's what's filling up there. I didn't even know they needed to be stored in that giant fridge of yours. But you could just uh, keep them outside. As we move over to the men's 200 meter backstroke, this will be the B final. Anton van Fundel, Nick Troer, Liam Vierby, Carlo Britz, Elijah Dredge, David Wiggett, Jonathan Schaeffer, and Matthew Mann. David Wiggett looks strong today in the heats. Swimming in an outside lane. Connor Britz going into this with the quickest time. Turn nine, 05, and there'll be plenty of support for him. They are away. Connor Britz, 18 years of age. Turn nine, 05 for the Eastern Caper. will be tested by the likes of Dredge, Vierby, Troa, Van Vondel, Wiggett, Schiffer, and Matthew Mann, the youngest of the competitors, or well, in fact, him and Troa, both 15 years of age. Correct, great to see youngsters having a second opportunity, having to race heats and finals here in PE. Pretty even into that start. Oh, yeah. Looks like Wigget, French and Brett. So, mounting on to the halfway stage, the men's 200 backstroke B final. We have another outsider doing well in Van Vondel, in lane one, but over in lane five, Elijah Dredge just starts in front, 101-4-0. Yes, Nick Trower coming back nicely there with a 10198. Again, this is where we see the swimmers starting to make their move. Looks like all six lanes kind of in a straight line. So one lap to go. Almost, and there we go. Jeez, and uh, nothing much separating these swimmers. Carlo Brits with a slight lead ahead of Elijah Dredge. Liam Vierby over in lane three, holding onto third spot. And here the crowd starts to roar. Especially given the fact that a local man is in contention in Carlo Brits. Yes, about 20 meters to go. As you can see, swimmers picking up their stroke race, adding in the legs. And see David Glover screaming his support for one of his swimmers as we have Eason Cape grabbing the victory. Carlo Brits 20743 for him. David Glover ecstatic. Celebrating like crazy, the coach is a very, very happy man. Numero uno for Carlo Brits, followed yeah. by Liam Vierby and Nick Troa grabbing third spot. Look at the dance from David. Yes, and there we have the results of the men's turn and backstroke B final. Carlo Brooks in first, 207.43. Liam Beebe, 207.58. And Nick Trower in a time of 208.83. Yes, there we go. Coach, very happy. All smiles all around. I hope he, I'm just looking to see if he's got a watch on. I hope he's got a step count. <laughs> I think he's uh, had 10,000 steps uh, purely based on that race alone. Look at him go. And he's off. Still a spring in his step. David, no doubt, going to go and congratulate his swimmer on winning that B final in the men's 200 backstroke. As we move over to the final event before we head to the relays. And uh, as we say goodbye once again, Chanel and Bacon. Welcome back, Chad Leclerc 
Uh, yeah, you <laughs> pretty much uh, threw Chanel out of his seat because you're so interested to, to watch the sun comes. Yeah, no, sorry, Chanel. Um, <laughs> I just was uh, took a little break, watched a couple of races. Uh, no, excited for this one. I think. Yeah, Peter's going to be pretty fast here, so very excited. Yeah, so Peter could see all eyes on him, but uh, he will be challenged by the likes of Dono van der Merwe, Lance Cromert, Vickers Fortkitter, Dylan Wright, Halkard Muller, Jean Boschoff, and Jonah Poole Jones. Peter could see doing exceptionally well in your race yesterday. Chad and uh, now focus on this 200 backstroke. I know we mentioned a little earlier, but today in the heats, uh, I don't think you were here actually. I don't know if you got I did see his last 10 meters, it was actually quite impressive. Two or four, the last chilling the whole way, and he yeah. just smashed the last 12 meters. It was good. Uh, and I mean, when you say chilling, I mean, it looked like a Sunday afternoon, it looked like 220. <laughs> yeah. And then he just picked it up at the death, ensuring that uh, he booked his spot over in the lane. It's, uh, it's going to be exciting to watch him swimming in lane five next to Dylan Wright. That will be a good race. Very excited. So just uh, having a look uh, at that confirmation with regards to that target 209, uh, rather 157.50 is the 200 backstroke target. What's it, 157? Eh? Yeah, 157.50. Hmm. Yeah. But he's already got the time, so obviously yes. it's not so important for him, but I think, I think he'll still get it. Of course, uh, Peter Gutsia grabbing bronze recently in Doha. And away they go. Massive splash from the competitors. And no surprises there, Peter could see it quickly out of the blocks. He looks like a different swimmer this, than this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing to watch him taking it so, so easily. Very, very casual this summer round. That is not the case. And uh, unsurprisingly, pulling away from the pack almost immediately. And he'll make the first turn. In the 26. Time. 26.95, just below that 27. Good first lap. Hey, that's pretty much, yeah, that's, he might even split faster than uh, what it'll take to make the 100 final, yeah, you know, so, no, he's looking good, I think, um, like I said earlier about Matthew, you know, I think Peter's a special talent, I think he's proven it now, you know, he's not just a talent anymore, he's an established international swimmer, and uh, a serious contender for that Olympic title in, in both backstrokes, um, honestly. Peter could see at the halfway mark, 56.59, and uh, well below that 7. The reminder again in terms of the qualifying time, but uh, he has uh, booked his place already. 157.50. So those are the markers that you are looking at in terms of world-class athletes. Ah, absolutely. That was a good little split there. Um, oh. So making the turn. 126.30. What's going to happen at this next 50? Eh? I mean, he's definitely going, yeah, he's going 156, definitely, I think. This is looking like 156 higher. Yeah. This is looking really good. Really, really good. So as he continues to pull away, continues to power on the gold, is a dead certainty. He would be going to Paris regardless, but 15750 wow. is the marker. And look at him go. He continues there to power go. into the victory. This oh, wow. is a sensational swim. Oh, one my five goodness. Five, eight, five. That was incredible. Well, Peter Kutz, yeah, obliterating that mark of 15750. And look how relaxed he is. Look how chilled he is. He's wow. done the job once again. Hey, that was a good swim, guys. 155 is no joke. Um, just like Tatiana earlier, I think, yeah, he just really stamped himself. And that's a world-class time. That's going to get him in the final, and that's going to be challenging. I think he drops a second there, and he's right in the mix for a medal. Oh, unbelievable. Peter Kutz, yeah, 15585. That uh, 157 was nothing for him. Very, very good. Yeah, the, the amazing thing about Peter is he's got the range. You know, he even remember back at Olympic trials, uh, 2021, he was uh, 24, 1, 50 fly. I think he was like 16 or something crazy. You know what I mean? So he's he's very diverse. I mean, he can, I believe he can have a great 50 fly, probably even a 100 fly. Um, his 100 free is obviously great. I even think he's got a lot of room to improve on that too. You know, with his 50 free being a 21, 9. You know, I even said some last year. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it because he beat me last night. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> 
he's got to take it out harder, man. You know, he's 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 probably the best. Uh, yeah, he's probably one of the best freestylers now at the moment. So he's got to use that speed, you know. But uh, I'd like to run it back with him. You know me. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, geez, I can't wait to see the rematch. It's, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> and uh, geez, so the big twenty-one you're turning on Friday. Hey, can't wait, man. We're having a big uh, big party. What's the Nazis, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be, we'll be back there. Nazis, how you say? Yeah, 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 they're natties. Natties, yeah. oh, great, we had a great dinner last night. Mm. And uh, we will be returning. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, head over to Peter Kutsia following that exceptional performance in the men's 200 backstroke final. You're making such a habit of this gold, and you put that next to the name Peter Kutsia. Peter, what a race and what a time. What do you think of 155.85? Yeah, I'm very happy with that for now. Um, didn't really know what to expect, so very happy with the time. Can we talk about Olympics, Paris 2024, the dream? Yeah, um, that's what we've been working towards. So I think that time this early in the year is a good time towards that. How did you approach today? Because uh, started the day off with the heats and looked like you were so, so comfortable during that heat. What was that about setting you up for this final? Yeah, um, it's a luxury that I think we have here in South Africa that we can go a little bit slow in the mornings. So uh, I wanted to use that and save my body a little bit for tonight because two turns in one day is a bit tough if you, if you really push yourself in both of the races. So, yeah. Well, congratulations, and you keep on just excelling here at Nationals. You are a national champion again. Congratulations. Thank you. So thank you very much to Crystal, and congratulations once again to Pidi Kutsia. As uh, we take a bit of a break, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we head over to the medal ceremonies uh, for a couple of events that uh, just wrapped up. And that's uh, before we head into the men's and women's 4x50 freestyle relay. That's uh, always fun to watch. Absolutely. I think this is going to be an extra fun one, like we said earlier with Roland. And actually, Clayton Jimmy, who's actually been in fine form the last couple of months. Um, I think he picked up a couple of medals at the All Africa about five weeks ago. So uh, that's going to be a quite a good tussle from lanes four and five there, you know. Like yeah. I said, KZN probably the stronger team by a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's, uh, it's the first relays that we're witnessing uh, so far in the course of the week that aren't mixed. Mm. We'll have uh, both men's and women's in the 4 by 53 But first up, we will be enjoying the medal ceremonies as we watch Crystal Arnold grabbing some selfies and footage of Peter Kutsia. And here we have the medalists coming through now in the 200 breaststroke. And this was an exceptional race. Great to see Reza Ibrahim doing the handover. So first up, Simone Moll. Going up to collect her bronze medal. Kayleen Corbett just repeating what she did earlier today. Unbelievable. Another qualifying time and grabbing silver. Tatiana Smith booking that ticket a little earlier this morning but an exceptional performance grabbing gold in emphatic fashion just over the 219 mark but gold is hers do you have any I, idea that was, a, that was a crazy swim I gotta say it again I mean Tatiana Smith Kayleen Corbett both phenomenal uh, you know the last five six years now but um yeah, really awesome to see another youngster jump on the podium there also. Really good. Yeah, it's uh, Simone Malt. Really good to see her. And uh, yeah, Riza Ibrahim, heavily involved in swimming here in the east part of the world. Do you have any idea how many medals you've won over the course of your career? 
20 medals. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I did win the Turner Backstroke in 2014. 157 back I'll never forget that. Well, and yeah. we, uh, I mean, where do you do you still keep a lot of them or just the, the special ones? No, you know what? To be honest with you, I've, I've given a lot away and I say that respectfully. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've uh, yeah, just like a lot of, you know, ch charity work and stuff like that. Okay. You know? So, but I do keep most, most, most of them are, are, are kept very, very safe. The, the one from London gave that away? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> As we move over to the medal ceremony now for the men's. 200 breaststroke. Beatrice Trutter collecting silver. Good job. Western Province, let's go. <laughs> but it was Matthew Randall, the Twine swimmer, coming out on top. Doing the job 20 years of age. And grabbing gold from Riza. Well done to the gents. Very good job, boys. Yeah. And we have a nice tussle there. Ian Keelock also looking strong. He's a very young. And he just missed out. Yeah. Vincent Ribeiro. Missed out on the touch there. Yeah, it was yeah. good from him also, yeah. Having just beaten Kian to the wall and Ribeiro collecting bronze. So we've got some relays still to come. That is the medal ceremony done and dusted. Which got the relays there? Yeah, start. yeah. Beautiful. Even the women's events, I mean, we've got. Uh, we got leading off there. I think we have, uh, we must have Emma, right? She should be leading off. I think she's told me earlier. For province. Yeah. Erin, Emma. Yeah, that's going to be a nice little tussle there. I mean, both girls are going to be pretty close, close to that time, eh? So we've got the women making their way out to poolside. Only three teams uh, in action for this one. Heat one of two, or well, the finals. Well, one of two. And. Uh, Ekeleni coming through. I was wondering why they're walking past us. <laughs> 4x50. 4x50. They'll That's be changing fun. the batons at either end of That's the pool. Cool. <laughs> uh, Western Cape coming through now. Ekeleni, meanwhile, represented by Van Royen, Lindsay, Skultz, and LaRue. Western Cape, no blush. Janssen, nodes. And Ribeiro. And Eastern Cape. Represented by Palmer, Rodemakers, Viduya, and Peterson. You have a look at uh, David Glover a little earlier celebrating the victory when that B final. He was going crazy, the coach. Ah, it's great, man. You know, people always sometimes would say you celebrate too much, but it doesn't matter. You know, even it doesn't matter what final, what what placings you got, and whatever that means to you. If you celebrate that, that's amazing. So good on him. And well then, uh, no doubt they'll be supporting like crazy for lane five, the Eastern Cape outfit. Emily Palmer, Caitlin Rudermakers, Myra Vadia, and Kayla Peterson. It is the first of four relays we'll be watching this evening. And that will wrap up proceedings here in the Bay. For day three, and a very good start out in lane three. Van Royen quickly into the water for Ekeleni. She'll be handing over to Lindsay. This is probably the most fun relay out there. It's so fast. And it's lightning, lightning quick. As you can see, this short course would be amazing. We had a great team back in 2018. Yeah. Tandy, could see uh, I think Miles also swam that one. I'm not sure, but yeah, ah. we had a great team. Made the final, came came fifth. Just missed out in the middle. Is it is it great being involved in relays? Uh, I, I mean, obviously you focus on your individual stuff more importantly, but um, how often is it do you, do you get asked to take part and uh, do you find yourself going, ah, having to weigh up the options? No, absolutely. I think especially for Commonwealth Games, that's a big big thing for us where we're actually respectfully competing for medals. You know, I think at the world level, it's been a while since we've actually been very competitive. I think at the moment, hey, we wouldn't have a shabby 4x1 men's yeah. and women's and a mixed mixed uh, medleys. 
obviously with Peter, myself, Matthew, and um, yeah, we, we have the breaststroke uh, that wins on on, sat you know, on uh, Saturday. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's always exciting for me. I think we're always missing one leg. I mean, we had Cameron back in the day. You know, we had yeah. such a strong team. I mean, at one stage we were oh we were number one, both in the middle two hundred, we were number one in the world. You know, yeah. so you know it's really really cool. But um, and I really enjoy it. And of course, uh, who can forget the 4x100 set back in Athens 2004? Absolutely. 20 years ago. Yeah. Greg and the boys. <laughs> Roland, of course, will be in action Roland, oh a little goodness. later. Unbelievable. But, uh, it is the women's first seat, the 54, 4x50 in the free. And this is a tremendous tussle, Archer, between Ekleni and Wesson Cape. Wesson Cape looking in front of Ekleni, fighting back. What's going to do it? And it goes the oh, way of got Wesson Cape. Nura Ribeiro doing the jump. Wow, that was nice. a tremendous that was finish. Hard, man. Look at that time. 14960, 14965, five hundredths of a second. Congratulations to Western Cape. Uh, you must be chuffed with that result. <laughs> of course. Hey, I'm a supporter, you know, I'm commentating tonight, so I'm supporting all the, all the teams, but uh, of course, the province would be my, you know. <laughs> so, province and Atoll. Outstanding uh, performance there from the Western Cape outfit. And Nuru Ribeiro, a great finish. And it was Cara Noblush leading the way. Lonnie Janssen, Kiara Nodes, and Ribeiro. As we move over to the third last race of the night. And Chandler Clark giving a little high five. To Nuria, following that tremendous finish from her. Western Cape doing the job once again. And as we move over to now the second and final relay of the women's side, the 4 by 53 He's it in. First start. Two people. What's going on there? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, it in. We're a little bit lost at uh, <laughs> making our way to the end. <laughs> it's uh, Carla Mikla and Alex Lovaskakni shooting through to the left-hand side of the pool. And Swana, Ben Gallagher, Hannah Witton, Christine Vessels, Taylor Yonker. Oh, that's going to be a quick outfit. And Jessica Comedy representing KZM. Then uh, moving over, another 20 outfit Emma Chelius, Caitlin DeLanger, Sam Straw, and Joanna Bass. Eastern Cape represented by Toomey McDonald, Jesse Lee Ladurach, Jamie Moat, Kendra Fenter. And you can hear the crowd cheering them on. And finally, from Karting, Jessica Thompson. Juliana Venka, Giselle Moritz, and Hannah Robertson. It's going to be a good race, so we've got to keep an eye out for that qualifying time, eh? For the yeah, we visual do. women's team, eh? I think it's 25.5, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll get confirmation of those relay times. 24. Twenty-four seven zero. Beg your pardon, I shouldn't have said twenty-five. <laughs> My goodness, twenty-four is crazy. Let's go, girls. Okay. So here we go, leading the way. In they go. Comedy, Gallagher, Chelius, Sevillius, McDonald, and Thompson. It's a good race, yeah. It's a great race. So you keep your hearts on uh, those lanes four and three. Gallagher, and Chelius, also Michaela de Villiers. And look at those front three go. Take the turn. That's close, man. Really close. That was sensational. That was think. really close. 24.96. Right wow. on. Huh? 0.2. Yeah, that was. Great swim. That was Aaron, right? It was. It was Aaron. Wow. 
She's been swimming great. Eh? She's had a great year and a half there. Eh? Wow, what a resurgence of her career. Wow. Amazing. 24.96. I mean, that, that qualifying time was 24.70. Jeez, what a swim. And it's a fast time. <laughs> it's exceptional. Over in lane four. Now, Jen is going on nicely. Oh, she's having handed over Caitlin DeLange, Sam Straw picking up proceedings. And uh, as we head over to the final leg, Joanna Base waiting, as is Taylor Yonker. So Grace Morris at lane four, aren't in front. Joanna Base taking over the baton. Grace Morris chasing hard. Taylor Yonker over in third. But representing Twane in lane four, Joanna Base is powering through. And she will collect the victory for her team, but it is a straight shootout for second place. Over in lanes three and five, Western Cape, or Twane, and it goes the way of Western Cape. Just good relay. Only just very, very good relay. So third place, another Twane victory. Great yeah. job, ladies. Those were really, really fast. Especially the opening woman there. Wow, that was seriously quick. Emma Chilius, Caitlin DeLange, Sam Straw, and Joanna Bates flying through to collect the win. And that is the woman done and dusted for the evening. And as we move over to the final two races of the night, the men's 4x50 freestyle and uh, two finals in action. Plans tonight? I think we're, we're just going to grab dinner, bite one. Nice. Get ready for Friday. What would so. what would preparations be like a, a day before a big race? So, uh, points and tomorrow? Yeah, to be honest, I want to do a little bit of speed. I just took it easy today, really, um, after last night. And yeah, tomorrow I'm going to probably get off the block and do a couple 25s or 15s and just feel the speed. Honestly, I just really want to be a bit more relaxed that first 50, uh, but still fast, you know? I think that's yeah. going to be the key for me. Um, just swim fast. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I know we're racing each other, but we, you know, I'm really hoping both Matt and I can can be pretty quick. Yeah. And let's not forget the 50 fly winner, uh, Jordan. <laughs> he, he'll be in the mix for sure. And it's something that I was uh, trying to ask a little earlier, and then the swimmers uh, were getting in the way. But how important is it for someone like you to have uh, close competitors be, to be able to challenge you? I mean, uh, we had a look at Kayleen Corbett uh, being the marker for someone like Tatiana Smith. Is it great to have someone that's there and thereabouts? Um, absolutely. Look, Matthew's been giving me trouble the last three years, you know, even since he was like 17. So, I mean, yeah, we had some close hundred flyers the last three seasons. I mean, I've won by point one, I think, the last two seasons. So, um, yeah, we just, um, yeah, very, very exciting to have such top, top competitors. And obviously with Peter now, and yeah, it just pushes me. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I've had, I think it's like my third generation of some I'm going through now. You know, I mean, I had Rake and Roland back in the day, and now I'm on <laughs> Matthew Sates and Peter Good It's like, yo, I feel like I'm... Yeah. And Roland's still around. And Roland's still hanging around, man. So, yeah. So, so he's in his fourth generation. Unbelievable. Yeah, Roland, Roland's incredible. I'm so excited to, uh, to watch him soon now. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll be in action a little later uh, in the next heat. But uh, right now, we've got Kays, uh, Eastern Cape, Ekeleni, Northwest, and Northern Cape. They'll be in the waters. Roland will be competing for KZN a little later. First up, four lanes of swimming. There's Joshua Zhang, Jordan Lanter, Ruben Smith, and Janko Hrobla, the four men that will kick things off. towards the start of the men's 4x50. This is the first of two finals. Chang Lanta, Smith and Hrubla. Again, there'll be plenty of sport for the Eastern Capers and making the handover. Leaning out from the front over in lane four. It is Ekeleni for now. Jordan Lata getting his team off to a great start. As I say that, Northwest looking exceptional. 
Ruben Smith, a great first 50, having handed over to Hortman. Fighting back well, Josh Goldberg. He'll hand it over to Michael van Heerden for Ekeleni. Closely followed by Holsarsen. And on the outside, Carlo Britz. Carlo Britz, uh, we saw him capture a victory in the B final a little earlier. And uh, for the final 50, taking to the water and leading the way over in lane four, Brendan Crawford out in front. And he's clear of Nicholas Pretorius and Jack Cameron. Brendan Crawford for Ekeleni, powering his way to the finish and grabbing his team the win. And a nice fight for second place, but this time going the way of Jack Cameron. Well, Pretorius uh, collects third for Eastern Cape. Very good swim. The first of two as we make our way to the final of the night. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, there's some great swimming tonight, actually. And you know what? We've been treated to some really good swims. I'm happy I was privileged to join you. Yeah, thank you. It's a privilege to have you here. I'm just missing some Thai food. But, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> a spectacular evening of swimming. Just having a look back again at uh, those performances. Uh, we look back at Tatiana Smith, uh, Kayleen Corbett, Peter Kutsia doing some damage. And uh, Matthew Sates just missing out once again. Sure. But, uh, yeah, it's some highlights still to come and of course we'll be seeing you back in action on friday on my birthday on your birthday <laughs> the big 2-1 we get everyone in the uh, in the pool to sing on friday <laughs> you know i always make uh, I always make my coach uh wherever we go in germany because he hates my people know his birthday even if it's not his birthday i make the whole stadium sing for him. <laughs> he hates me <laughs> Not talk to you. This is, this is really <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> I know listen when he talks sometimes. It's hilarious. It's actually so cute. I was, uh, I was doing golf commentary now the other day in St. Francis, and it coincided with my birthday recently. At <laughs> beginning of March. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and uh, so we got to celebrate it just down the road. Beautiful Eastern Cape, St. Francis Bay. And that was my 23rd birthday. It was nice. As we move over to the final race of the evening. Kobe and Bele, very, very focused, ignoring Chad completely. As uh, once again, the boys, no one's looking at me. They left high, hanging there with your attempted high five. Hey, Ottawa in Lugano from Sharks just messaged me, asked me why I'm not swimming. Ah, that's fantastic. Good to hear from Ottawa. Hey, Ottawa, what's up, man? I'm, uh, I'm swimming Friday, brother. <laughs> Ottawa and Lugano doing uh, plenty of work for Supersort. Also, a great golfer. How's your golf, by the way? Oh, man, that's, that's, that's for next year. That's yeah. for after the games, for sure. But, uh, once you're done with your fifth generation of athletes. Oh, this is going to be a great one. It's a cracker. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at Rodin. Looks like he's 25, man. He's unbelievable body. Starting in lane five, Roland Schumann. He'll be kicking things off for KZN alongside Kobe and Debele, Guy Brooks and Ricky Lottring. That's a very, very fast team. Meanwhile, as for Tswane, Clayton Jimmy, Alex Goddard, Philip Delanger, and Matthew Sates in lane four. So going from lanes one down to eight, we've got Karteng, Ekeleni, Weston K, Swane, KZN, Swane, Weston K, and the Eastern K. Plenty of eyes on Olympic gold medalist Roland Skuman. Over in lane five. And part of that awesome foursome from 2004. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. What a pity. So was that, it's not a false start. 
Oh man, what a pity, Ryan Skuman. No water for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what to say here because. So Kays and in will not be competing as we watch out in lane four. Alex Goddard will be handing over through to Philip De Lange. Philip De Lange leading the way for Tswane. And that was a disappointing start. Penyava is looking at Roland Skuman, unfortunately. Not in the water as uh, we see Tswane out in front. And over taking place for the final 50 meters. Who else? With Matthew Sates out in the water. And Twane well clear of proceedings. And Matthew Sates powering on to deliver victory for his side. Twane collecting top spots. And over in lane three, and is Francois Malhaber doing the job for Western Cape. And we'll wait confirmation for third position. Yeah. But it was Twane. You did it. So, unfortunately, what do you reckon happened there, Chad? Unfortunately, I th yeah, I think it was pretty obvious TQ, unfortunately, there on the opening leg. But, uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate. I think there was a lot of hype around this race. I'm a little bit disappointed. But, uh, you know, these things do happen. You know, I mean, I've also, we've all fall started, so, you know, no hard. You know, I wouldn't hold it against um, Clayton. You know, he's, like I say, he's been such a great, rich friend of form. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it just, you know, you jump the gun a little bit. That's, that, that happens, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, disappointed not to have seen, um, yeah, Roland and the boys battle. But uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen now, to be honest. It looks like they might time trial it. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Just have to wait and see what the officials say, yeah, because everyone looks confused. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what a pity. So they are hanging around to find out exactly uh, what will yeah. transpire. But uh, regarding the actual event, well done to Tswane, <laughs> capturing the win. And uh, led by... Clayton Jimmy, Alex Goddard, Philip Delanger, and Matthew Sates. We wait to find out exactly what transpired. So, thank you very much uh, to everyone for joining us. A uh, bit of a dramatic finish uh, to the evening. Chad, thanks for joining me as always. Hey, Derek, thanks. Big pleasure. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, good luck on Friday as we head back downstairs to Crystal Arnold uh, for final goodbyes. Paris 2024 has been the theme of tonight here at the SA National Swimming Championships. And just to reflect on all that we've seen, it's about 985 days, yes, I was counting, since Tatiana Skunmarker set that world alight at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. And we fast forward to now, where she has a fresh approach, a fresh name as well. And tonight was something special. Actually, the entire day was special for Tatiana Smith as well as Kaylee Corbett. It is that female powerhouse that is just setting things alight here. Chanel, how much did you enjoy all of the action? Yes, I mean, what a great performance by the ladies all around. I mean, starting off with Amy Canny just missing that 200 freestyle qualifying time by splits. So hopefully she'll get another opportunity later on in the week to do that time again. Then we had Tatiana, yes, I mean, what can I say? 219.01, what a brilliant performance by her. And also Kayleen, I mean, both of them dipping under those times from this morning, so it was great to see. 219.01 for Tatiana, just put that into perspective, because we know what she posted when it was a world record mark at Tokyo 2020. These last three years, this is the best times that she's posting since then. She must be just feeling herself. Yes, no, definitely. I mean, looking at her smiling all the time, uh, shoulders um, upright, also seeing her husband here supporting her on. Uh, just so proud of Tatiana and how far she's come in the past three years since the Olympics, obviously being on that high. And like she said, getting back to swimming great times, not only in South Africa, but also on a world standard.
another Olympic qualifying time in the form of Peter Pizzio. 200 back is what earned him bronze at Worlds, and that time, if you look at Worlds time compared to tonight's time, it just makes you so excited with what's to come in Paris 2024. That is a final time, isn't it? Well, we hope so. <laughs> we definitely hope so, but yes, kudos to Peter every time he gets in the water, racing hard, and really looking forward to that 100 meters backstroke tomorrow. Hopefully, you can get another time there talking about the program that is what we focused on tomorrow so much more to come here from a newton park swimming pool and thank you so much for joining us more national champions coming your way olympic qualifiers as well as paralympic qualifiers to come in the days ahead of us